Good afternoon, everybody. It's Jim Mint Jesse, and today we're back with another video. Uh, it's a little bit different. Today we're not opening any cards. Instead, I'm in the middle of preparing a PSA submission. For those of you uh, who may not be familiar, PSA is the leading authenticator and grader of sports cards. Uh, they've been closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. They've reopened, and I'm going to prepare a fairly large submission. So I thought it would be fun to take you through uh, what I'm going to be submitting, and then ultimately we can take a look back uh, here in a few months when uh, my submission gets back. I'm actually taking advantage. So these aren't uh, monster cards by any means, um, but I'm actually taking advantage of a couple of the different monthly submission specials that they have. So you have to be a member of their collector's club to be able to send in cards. And uh, I've got a couple packages there right now already being graded. Um, uh, and then uh, you pay a fee uh, and you typically look for ways to minimize that fee, right? Uh, for each of your cards that you send in. And so the specials that they just came out with uh, that I'm taking, there's three that I'm going to take advantage of in total. I think two of them that I will take you through today. Uh, the first is uh, the 1971s. Uh, they've got a special on sending in 1971 cards. Uh, I've got a few of the higher end 71s already uh, in house at PSA, so I missed out on those, but uh, might, might have uh, taught that in value anyway. Um, but uh, seems like now's the time to go in and send in anything else uh, from the 71 set that I think might be PSA worthy. So uh, you're going to see uh, a variety of cards. Not many of which are going to be stars. Some uh, high numbers, some tough to get, some that I think will grade okay uh, out of my 71 collection. And then they've got a special on grading the goat. Uh, I'm guessing most of you are familiar with the um, Michael Jordan, The Last Dance uh, uh, documentary that's been airing, uh, unbelievable television. Uh, and so they've got a special on getting your Michael Jor Jordan cards graded. So I'm going to send in about 50 uh, of those. And they've also got a special on the 80s. And so I've got a number of high graded uh, 1980 sets that I may send in. Look at this, an opportunity to send in commons um, that I think are PSA 10. So let's take a look. Uh, so we've got two sets of cards here. First, these are the 71s I'm going to send in. And then these are my Jordans. And let's just take a look and we can look at them together. We won't spend a ton of time on each card, but uh, uh, for those of you who have not spent much time, almost 50 years now, it's crazy to me that these cards are this old, uh, older than I am for sure. Uh, but these 1971s, really hard to grade well. You can see the black borders, right? Um, if you bought any of the 2020 Tops Heritage, uh, this year they are the current version of trying to re-emulate this design um, so it's really hard to find high-end 1971 cards uh, there's some key cards to this set Thurman Munson a few others and, and then they also um, short printed or I'm not sure they were actually short printed but I know they were less common to find uh, the higher the number so the high number cards uh, typically uh, go for much more money so uh, Oops, I hit the camera there. Sorry about that. Let me take you through a few of the cards we're going to take in. So, Paul Shaw, third baseman for the Royals. Just a um, pretty good-looking common card there. Jim Perry, not to be confused with Gaylord Perry, brother, uh, for the Twins. Real nice condition. Tommy John, the man for which the surgery was named after. Pretty sharp looking Yankees team card there, right? Pretty clean. A little off on center. Vita Blue. Harmon Killebrew. Uh, not sure he's, he, he may still hold the record, but the leader in all time pinch hits, Rusty Staub. Dave Giusti, Washington Senators, team that is no longer around, Tim Cohen. Centering's off on this guy, but I want to send it in anyway. It's a sharp cornered Jim Palmer. I think you can bring in there. 
Uh, so it's about his fourth season. I don't remember his exact rookie year. But uh, Jim Bunning. Cubs rookie stars. Unfortunately, none really became stars. Rookie Cup, Dave Cash. Astros pitcher, Ron Cook. So you can see most of what I'm showing you. There's nothing here that's going to be a 10. Um, but typically they're fairly sharp. Hopefully, you know, we'll just see some 7s or 8s. Randy Hundley. A couple I've got that are maybe a 9 in this set. Um, I'll try to remember to stop on those. Rick Wise. But really, I mean, I, I want cards that frame well, right? And so that's my first judge is how, how well does it frame? Um, you know, are the borders, is it centered well and fairly sharp corners? Let me go from there. Pirates team. Tug McGraw, father of country legend Tim McGraw. Ron Bryant, common. Another common. Pat Jarvis. John Hiller, Eddie Fisher, Denny LeMaster, I'll go a little faster, Juan Pizarro, eh. Gary Nyman, I like the color on these age uniforms, Paul Lindblad, you might be familiar with this guy, Reginald Jackson. Willie McCovey, lefty Steve Carlton, terrible centering left to right, but uh, let's go ahead and get it in and get it graded. Pete Rose, I'm a believer in getting your superstars graded regardless. Bill Mazeroski, um, Yankee stars, future stars, Jose LeBoy. That's about half of me. Buzz through the, uh, the rest of the stack here a little quicker. Rod Carew, times two. Johnny Bench. Joe Morgan. <laughs> I don't think of him as old enough to be around in 71, but uh, Raleigh Fingers. Gil Hodges. Pops. Willie Stargell, Rico Cardi, Giants Stars, once again I love those jerseys, Felipe Alou, 71 Rookie Stars, Bill Buckner Rookie, Carl Yastrzemski, Willie Davis, Orlando Cepeda, Sweet Lou Brock. Former Triple Crown winner, Frank Robinson. Sparky Lyle. Boog Powell. Underrated athlete, incredible athlete, Mike Shannon. Ray Lamb. Rookie outfielders, no names. Bob Reed. Preston Gomez, manager of the White Sox, Chuck Tanner, Bill Haynes, should be a name of an infielder, not a pitcher, Bill Voss, Joe Negro, a Negro and a Perry, Ricky Clark, Paul or Bob Garibaldi, Ricky Outfielders, Don Baylor, rookie, Sammy Siebert. Few more here. Mike Marshall, Matty Alou, John Morris, RBI leader, Johnny Bench, Tony Perez, Hal King, Ken Brett, not to be confused with George, Duffy Dyer, Sam McDowell, Tommy Davis. Angels rookie, Dave Duncan, 
better known for all the years working with uh, Tony uh, LaRusso, Ted Abernathy, Billy Martin, later became Yankees man, Steve Rinko, Richie Hebner, Frank Baker, Al Ferreira, Cardinals rookies, Gary Peters, Nate Colbert, Bob Humphreys, Cesar Cedeno, Chuck Dobson, Bob Tillman, Frank Reberger, Nellie Bryles, Juan Marichal, Orioles rookies, almost there, Jack Hyatt, Lou Kraus, Tito Fuentes. Here's a fun card. Ted Williams. Teddy Ballgame. He's the manager of the Senators. Al Oliver. Howie Reed. George Spriggs. Good looking Angels team. Art Shamsky. Bob Gibson. Ken Berry. Manny Sanguian and Ken McMullen. So I've got a number of 71s. Like I said, I've got some higher end names, a few names in here. We look, we saw, you know, Pete Rose and a few others that Reggie. Um, but uh, really at the end of the day, I've got some of the really nice cards uh, already sent off. Uh, and these, I just want to take advantage of the grading special. So we'll get those in. So that's the 71 special as that set comes up on 50 years. And then they've got the grade the goat. So I went through and I've got uh, a few Jordans here. Some of these, uh, there's, you're going to see some duplicates, but uh, fun cards. So this card is not worth a ton, but it's kind of fun. It's a Birdman. That's Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, dressed up as cartoons. Uh, pretty cool. You can see the number 23 on his chest. So those are fun cards, right? I mean, Larry Legend and uh, Jordan. Jordan Olympic highlight. Uh Special edition, uh, Upper Deck, Jordan announcing his retirement. Skybox Jordan, pretty clean. I've got a few of the Ultras left. So there's three of them here. Uh, these are the Slam Dunk. Uh, he was the 16th rated Slam Dunk of the year there. Three of those from the 92 Ultra set. And then I've got three of his base that I'm going to be sending in. See, he averaged it's like 30 points a game that year. He was 532 for his career. And then five or six of his uh, 92 base upper deck. Love that picture. Sky. Okay, frequent flyers. Two of those. Stadium club. <laughs> you know what? I didn't see. There are not many of these graded highly. These are the special Johnny Kilroy cards. Uh, and you had to be around back then to even understand anything about this. But uh, see if we can get in on here. It says, who is Johnny Kilroy? Did Michael Jordan fake his retirement? Uh, you know, he announced his retirement. Da -da -da -da. Um, so they came out with this card uh, kind of playing off... Uh, you know, was Johnny Kilroy really Michael Jordan? And so, uh, kind of a fun card. I've got four of those. Uh, kind of hard to find. Uh, uh, Skybox Premium, Jordan. After the Bulls win another championship. Jordan All-Star. Couple Jordan game faces. Jordan Checklist. Well, different Jordan Upper Deck leaders. Here's his base and his All Star, 93 Upper Deck. Different Skybox. 90 Fleer. Stadium Club Members Choice. Archives Jordan. I like that card. Team USA. 
more skybox premiums. How about these two legends, right? That's Jordan with Harry Carey. So two goats at the same time. Uh, so we'll get those in. That's in his baseball. This card may be the most valuable of any of these if it comes out of 10. This is, they had a subset from the All-Star game, All-Star Heroes. Good luck trying to find a 10 of this card. Um, not that many out there. Very few graded. There's also a shack that's worth a lot um, from this set. Uh, I've got that. Not in for grading yet, but great. And I think I've got four or five of these kind of fun cards here with uh, Jordan and Pippin on the same card. So I'm going to send those in. Then just a couple more special Jordan Championship Series. Here's from Upper Deck Minor League Baseball with him throwing. And then Jordan and Dominique hit their 28,000 points in the same season. So uh, just a few cards we're going to send in, get those off here in the next few days. And then I look forward to updating you when we get these all back and we can see how we did. I don't think we've got anything amazing. Probably the, the best opportunity in this whole set for something really exciting would be if we could get that uh, All-Star Heroes card to come back as a 10. would be uh, pretty epic. But uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's content, give me a like and subscribe. And I'll be back with more baseball or sports card content in the future. Take care.